Now let's take a look at activity 23, stressing content words. In spoken English, some words are stressed and other words are unstressed. Stressed words are what? Long or short? Long. Long. Are they strong or weak? Strong. Long and high. Yeah, are they high or low? High. 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 Okay, so stressed words are long, strong, and high. Long. Now, we don't write them any differently. The writing looks the same, but the speaking is different. And when we speak, we stress some words, but not all of the words. We stress the content words. So if we look at the footnote for content words, we can find out that content words means a word that gives the most information in a sentence. And these include nouns, main verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. What are they? Nouns, main verbs, I want you to say them because I want you, this is important for you to remember. Nouns, main verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. So we call these kinds of words content words, content words. So they're kind of like you have to know grammar, all right? If you use your grammar knowledge to help you learn, it will help you in your listening and speaking, not just in your writing, right? Because every time you open your mouth and you say something, you put words in a sentence, you have to use grammar. Because some people say, oh, I don't like grammar, I just like listening and speaking. So I don't take grammar class. Well, uh, I think you need both, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> like you. <laughs> so there are two types. There are content words and function words. If we look at words, we can divide them into two categories, content words and function words. So function words... What does that mean? It, a function word is a word that shows a grammatical relationship but doesn't have much meaning by itself. So these words include articles. Articles, a, an, and the. Prepositions. Prepositions like to, for, with, or by, on, in, at. Conjunctions like and, but, so, or. Auxiliary verbs like have, had, do, does, did, can, should, and pronouns like what? He, she, it, my, her, his, we, our. Those are, those are the smaller words. So the function words need to be weaker. So we want to make a contrast between the content words and the function words. When we speak the function words, they should be short, weak, and low because we don't usually stress them. So in the sentences on, on page 62, you can see that we have the a certain words in, in capital letters and they are bold to help you notice that they are very big when you speak them. Of course, we don't write them that way, but we're showing you that in order for you to pronounce them louder and longer and higher than the other words. So can you use your body to do this, to help you? All right, put your both feet on the ground so that you can push yourself up on the stressed word. Start your day. 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 Good, I'm looking around the room and I'm seeing some good movement with your body. I think that helps you. Start your day with breakfast. Okay, notice we don't say breakfast. We don't say breakfast. We say breakfast. breakfast. The second syllable is weak. We stress the first syllable. Breakfast. If you watch my mouth, look at my mouth. It's open for the first one and very almost closed for the second. Breakfast. 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 Good. That's very nice. If you say breakfast. My mouth open too much on the second syllable, not fa. Fist, fist. Very small, very small mouth on this unstressed syllable. Breakfast. breakfast. Start your day with breakfast. Start your day with breakfast. A good, nutritious breakfast. A good, nutritious breakfast. A good, nutritious breakfast.
breath. 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 It's important to start your day with breakfast. It's important to start your day with breakfast. Okay, so I want you to try to look at me. Look at me. See, I want you to try to think of how this is. The big words take up a lot of space. Good trip, break, uh, poor start, day, break. The other ones have to be squeezed and small, pushed inside, very small and down. You have to make them smaller. You have to compress them. It's important to start your day with breakfast. 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 All right, so let me stop you for a moment. I want you to notice that in English, we have words like important, has three syllables. We want to make the stress syllable the second one, right? It has to be longer. If the second syllable is longer, the first and the second would have to be shorter. Okay? Otherwise, it's a ta ta ta. I don't want ta ta ta. I want da da da. Can you hear the difference? Ta 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 and da da da. Important. Like that. So you have to make the, the other syllables, you have to calm down, quiet them, make them weaker, make them softer, make them soft, soft, smaller. It's important to start your day with breakfast. Good. It's important to start your day with a good, nutritious breakfast. It's important to start your day with a good, nutritious breakfast. Okay, now, in this paragraph, there are some words that are contact words, and we need to underline them. And there are other words that are function words, and we don't want to underline them. So the purpose of our underlining is to help us identify which words should be long, strong, clear, and high compared to the other ones. So let's look at this paragraph and see if we can distinguish the words that are content words and longer from the words that are function words that are shorter. So we have this paragraph about how many calories an average person should consume. And we have examples of a woman and a man. So let's look at this paragraph. Can you help me with it? Which, which words should I underline? Which words are content words? Um, How well, many, many calories a person consume? consume. Let's consider Two examples. Woman, 20 years old. Stands 5 feet 5 inches tall. Weighs 128 pounds. Has average amount body fat, engages light activity, consume 2,200 calories day. Here's second example. Man, 20 years old, stands 5 feet, 10 inches tall, weighs 160 pounds, has average amount, body fat, engages light activity, needs intake 2,900 calories. These only Simple examples. Fact, nobody 
average. People's energy needs vary greatly. Whew, how is that? Beautiful. How many calories should a person consume? Let's consider two examples. A woman is 20 years old. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall. She weighs about 128 pounds. She has an average amount of body fat. She engages in light activity. Do you understand engages in? What does that mean? It, what does it mean? She engages in light. She moves, she does, she participates in light activities, not strong, not very vigorous activities, but some activities. She engages in light, some exercise, you know. She should consume about 2,200 calories per day. Here's a second example. A man is 20 years old. He stands 5 feet, 10 inches tall. He weighs 160 pounds. He has an average amount of body fat. He engages in light activity. He needs an intake of about 2,900 calories. These are only simple examples. In fact, nobody is average. People's energy needs vary greatly. What does vary mean? What does this verb mean, to vary? This is a verb. What does the word vary mean? Change, right? Changes and differs. So you can think of changes or um, differ, right? It doesn't remain the same, right? So your requirements are not the same as my requirements. And your friend's requirements are also different. They vary. The word vary is a verb. And I'm sure you know these other words that belong to that family. Here's one of them. It's an adjective. Various. Various. We have various languages in our class, don't we? Yes. Okay. And here's the noun variety. Variety. Do you know the sound is just like anxiety? Anxiety, right? The same stress pattern as variety, variety, and society, society. Do you see these words with that kind of a suffix? They have da da da, iety, iety, variety, right? So, do you like to eat the same food every every day, or do you prefer variety? Variety. You prefer variety. Okay, then you better cook different food every night. <laughs> if you have various recipes, then you can cook a variety of food, and your menu varies from night to night. Okay, would you like to take a little break now? Yeah.